Hello, I'm on the shores of Lake Rotorua uh, at Ahunumutu near the mouth of the Utahina and I'm talking to Tuhipo uh, Kiriapa. Hello. Kia ora. So what are we here for and who, who have you got with us? We've got Roger, who's from Cody Park. He can introduce himself. And um, Grace Hoyt, who's also part of helping to develop this whole area to do with the wetlands, uh, restoration. Um, yes, now the wetlands and the replanting along the um, banks of the Utahina, what are you trying to achieve? What's happening? Well, I, I suppose I'm trying to achieve um, helping to, to, well, the environment, of course. Um, I, I really want to achieve, like working with the Rotorua Primary, for instance, who are the young ones, growing them into how to um, look after, um, after it's been, or being part of planting, uh, restoring, and understanding um, how to uh, help the environment, I suppose. That's what I'm trying to do. And the other part, I suppose, for me, growing up here, it used to be um, just like that, you know, rope all around, water crest down the stream, everything was pristine. Well, as you can see, that's why I want to get back to that again. Um, I suppose it's, I want my grandchildren to enjoy what I enjoyed when we were young, being able to just go out um, looking for koda, um, kakahu, um, morihana that used to be in here, um, all that sort of thing, and just enjoying it. So it could be beautiful again if we... Absolutely, absolutely, and helping to clean, because the river, the Utahina River comes down this way, and of course we end up with all, all whatever comes down from the top, and um, trying to engage with them too, you know, to, um, right. to be a part of it. Then, well, particularly for elementary, trying to get them involved, and that's through the children, because most of the 99% of the children actually belong here, because they're, they're, that's what their whakapapa is in here, and it's really getting them to understand it again and be a part of it. So, what have you had the children doing? Uh, the children, they, what are they doing? Did you say? Um, the, um, well, they come down. We we try and we do two parts. We usually split them up usually into two uh, and some do the restoration and actually I know and some do the, the science in the garden a, and a woman by the name of um, Denise Lebru takes them for the science, science part and uh, they started water testing now too oh that's they? right and yeah. the water testing yes yeah. that's right and it's that's through EBOP if I remember yep. rightly yes mm -hmm. um, so, so Roger tell us a little bit about the wetland and what gets involved in making that yeah, well, the uh, wetland is brought in as a more powerful um, cleaning up tool than a conventional wetland because of the surface area. The dominant feature is the microbes that, ha that are housed into the um, root system. The uh, top of the wetland plants um, don't actually show very much as to what's going on down below. That's where it's all happening. So this is a floating wetlands and you can make it any size you like? Yes, we can, they're, made, they're made modular so they can be made any size you like. They can um, be designed um, either as in very square or, or pretty looking shapes as, as to whatever natural look you want to have. Mm. Yeah. So you've just started here but presumably you guys want to grow this? Absolutely, absolutely. You want to grow it right up... Uh, yeah. 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 Just Right up the Utahina, basically try and clean up all the rubbish that's coming down, put a couple of possibly islands, kind of waste traps up that end also, um, just to stop all the rubbish coming down. There's, there's, it's just at the beginning. There's a big job to do. Uh, first we've got to, you know, it looks like we've got to dredge out the river to clean it, and then uh, replant the, the riparian planting, which will just be natural water filters, and basically what the wetlands are doing. But as you can see, the the island's only a tiny island, but it actually it's a beginning. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there'll be many more coming through. Yeah. So the thing here is to get more and more people involved and enthusiastic about the project. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I believe you've got other wetlands in the other lakes around Rotorua. Yes, we have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got it up um, one up at Taheke Marae, and um, we've got. Rotoiti and Rotoehu uh, and we're, we're very excited with what opportunities there are to actually make a, a 
distinct difference mm. in, in what is um, what's proceeding. Well, I heard one suggestion that one of these projects would be kilometres long, a huge endeavour. Yeah, um, kilometres can be achieved. Um, we take steps, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> baby steps, I guess. Yes. Uh, but so far, looking really good, really positive. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we also work in wastewater and sewage systems. We we got a very proven system in place for that for um, for advancing um, microbial activity and um, improving the water quality of discharge. Yeah. And ultimately, you're looking for lake water where we can see the bottom, I guess. Would be uh, nice, yes, wouldn't it? Would, yes, it would Ultimately, be it'd be nice to get the coda growing again properly. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, the, and the watercress too. But you know, watercress can take in a lot of toxins, so it's a good tester. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're talking about the involvement of the other people. We have several groups that come in here. Um, that was the Rotorua Primary, but we also got the AND, which is Utahina Manaki. That's the alcohol. They come down. Uh, yesterday we had the kindergarten. Um, teachers come in, um, and we've also the youth corps. Ben, yeah. Sorry. Is it the youth conservation? Yes, the youth conservation. Yeah, they do conservation. a lot. And there was one. We're just starting along this end, and then eventually work around the lakefront and up the river. Um, but just asking uh, the whanau around here what they'd like planted and what they'd like to see happen. Mm. Um, so we've got to get flyers out and things like that of what mm. they want to see happen. But figured to start in your own backyard first. Yeah, exactly. Cleaning up starts in your own backyard. And a great project here. That's Peter Buckton for City News.